You know, normally I would try to like think of some like really energetic uh, greeting to say like, what's up YouTube or hey entrepreneurs or, or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna kind of skip that tonight. I just wanna share some experiences that I've had this week with you while they're raw. Some of you know that we have this shoe business. Uh, my wife is a shoe designer, so our, one of our entrepreneurial ventures is to build up this shoe company, this, this line, this fashion line. And uh, it's taken us a couple years to kind of work through a lot of the details of the logistics of um, production, you know, finding the right factory. And uh, we finally gotten to that point. We finally have a great relationship with a great factory and we have product and, uh, and we have a new collection that my wife has designed. And so I went to this trade show in Dallas, <clears throat> the trade show, the footwear, kind of section of this trade show is called Strut. It's part of the Dallas Market Week. So uh, we thought we did our homework for this market and we kind of reached out to the people that we thought were gonna be attending this this show. And uh, basically nobody came to our booth. Uh, that is to say no real buyers, no serious buyers came to our booth. And it's probably to be expected because uh, nobody knows us yet. I spent four days sitting there in a booth in a great location. Like our booth was situated like right at the entrance to the show. Everyone coming into the show could see us. It was awesome. I learned a couple things. One, the amount of legwork that you have to do to reach out to people in advance of a show is massive. Like you've got to anticipate who's going to be at the show. You have to find their contact information. You have to reach out to them. You have to uh, <clears throat> introduce your brand to them and tell them where you're going to be and, and sell them on why they should come and stop by your booth in advance of the show. That's one thing. We did some of that. I don't think we did enough, but um, but we did comb through and, and, and uh, get lists from the show uh, organizers and comb through who's going to be in our category, who, who sells shoes in our price point, etc. But even with all that work, um, those people didn't come. It was the wrong show for us. So not all trade shows are created equal. The buyers there are looking for kind of a casual sexy shoe and not a um, not a high quality dress shoe like ours. Not all shows are created equal. If you're gonna go to a trade show, make sure that you're gonna go to the right trade show for your market segment. Um, just because a trade show costs less doesn't mean that it introduces less financial risk for you. I wonder if we had gone to a more expensive show that, that was more suited to our market segment, if we would have had a better response. But at the same time, perhaps not, since it would have had just been a first show for us anyway, and, and people still wouldn't know us. Building your own brand equity from scratch is like really, really tough. I'm really grateful to two uh, girls that were around the corner from me that came up after the show was over, or well, toward the end of the show, to introduce themselves and say, hey, we were your, we've been your neighbors the whole time. Sorry, we're just coming out to introduce ourselves. So we started talking, and they found out that this was our first show ever. And uh, they were awesome. Oh, seriously, don't worry, <laughs> they said. You know, your first show is like that. You know, uh, you got to not give up and not get disappointed or anything, you know, because you can sit there during your first show and not get the results that you you know, had hoped for and it'll play games with your mind. Um, and that's definitely what happened. I sat there wondering, man, am I just destroying value by being here? Am I just burning money? I don't think that it was a pure waste. It was a good learning experience. It didn't cost that much to attend the show. And could we have known that that wasn't the show for us in advance without spending the money on it? Um, I think we kind of had some suspicions, but we really weren't sure. Uh, we did do our homework. We looked at exhibitor lists from the organizers of the show. We looked at buyer participants uh, from the show and um, thought, it looks like there's enough meat here that you know we could at least give it a try because we don't really know what to expect. And now that we've been to a show, I think we know more what to expect. And um, if we go to a more expensive show, then we'll be better prepared. And uh, it will have been worth the experience, worth the investment in, 
in failing fast so that we can uh, be better prepared to, to have an effective show next time if we go to a more expensive show. So better to uh, have had a little bit of experience showing before investing a lot of money in a really fancy expensive show. So I hope that this video will help someone. If it does, then comment. Until next time. Thanks. Bye.